Hold on to your shorts for some of the best roasted lemon garlic chicken ever. Once again, I'm making uh, something that Max wants. So look, there's two ways to look at this. One is, oh, you're such a nice father. You do what your son wants because he wants to eat this. The other way to look at it is, dude, isn't the channel called Sam the Cooking Guy? It's not Max the the behind the scenes guy. It's Sam the Cooking Guy. Shouldn't Sam then be the guy that says what he wants to make? Roasted oh, red pepper soup. That's what you want. No, I don't want to make that. Why do you hate it? I put it in my last cookbook. Oh, and speaking of my last cookbook, Sam the Cooking Guy, recipes with intentional leftovers. Amazing, 19 master recipes that then show you what to make with that stuff so you don't have to eat things the same way all the time. This is available. Click the link below. And by the way, Father's Day, less than a month away. So go ahead, take your time. I'll figure it out, I'll get the old man what he wants. And when it's like two days left and you're completely fucked, you're gonna say to yourself, damn it. Why didn't I listen to Sam and get his book while I could have? Well, then you're just going to be delivering promises as a gift. And how good is that? All right, so enough of me. Yes, the chicken's going to be great. We're going to spatchcock it. If you haven't seen this, it's fantastic. And I'm guessing if somebody has never seen a spatchcock chicken and they're hearing about it for the first time, what must they be thinking we're going to do with it? It's great. It's the best way to cook a chicken. Do I need really. to bleep that? Nope, you do not have to bleep that. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, we're going to start by making the, 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 you know, the, the butter component that's going to go on our chicken. The butter, the garlic, the, the, the lemon, the deliciousness. It's going to really make this special. Here we go. All right, here we begin with eight ounces of softened butter. Look, softened like that. If it's hard butter, it's going to be difficult. Uh, we're going to add some things to it. So let's just begin. You could use fresh, but look, I think it's easier with this, and then just don't worry about it. So this is about uh, half a teaspoon of thyme and about the same of rosemary. Love it. We need a big pinch of kosher salt and pepper. Lovely. I want some fresh, um, what's this called? Parsley. Thank you. So we'll just cut some for this and then we'll save some for something else that's coming up. And we want this pretty fine. So put your nakiri to work. Yeah. By the way, are they available? They are. You sure? Yeah, we can sell <laughs> out of them. Okay, good. We were selling, yes. The Nikiris are available and the other knives. The other knives are going to be in and ready to sell very soon. Yeah. So is cast iron, by the way. We haven't promoted that enough. We're using cast iron today. All right, so you got your parsley chopped up. Let's put some of this in. And what would that be? A couple tablespoons of parsley? And this we're going to push off to the side and save. Now, one of the important parts of this is lemon. Remember we said lemon garlic chicken. So let's put this lemon in, but we want the zest. And we're going to use our zester, this microplane guy, like this. The flavor that comes off of the outside of a citrus is the biggest flavor part. Yes, of course, the inside, the juice is delicious, but really, this is what it's all about. So we'll get the zest of an entire lemon right here into this little butter deliciousness. Oh, I love that citrusy fresh. Everybody can smell this. Chance, can you smell it from over there? Absolutely. Yeah. We still haven't seen any surfing pictures from Indonesia. Oh, that's true. But it's coming. Except you didn't go to Indonesia. Sorry, we still we still haven't seen any surfing pictures Maybe from Nicaragua. From <laughs> Nick, shut up. From fucking Nicaragua. Put no. together something. Great. Remember, lemon, garlic. So we're going to use some garlic. I'm going to show you something because I find this interesting. Okay, here's a question for you. Why is it that we seem to give a shit about what goes in our bodies, but not? on our bodies. Skincare, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm talking about. It's time for us to look at what we put on ourselves in a very different way. And Native are the people that are making that easy for us to do. About a month and a half ago, I started using it. I started using the deodorant. I started using the body wash. And I'm telling you something, it has made a significant difference in my everyday routine. I love it for a couple of reasons. One, it's aluminum free, it's sulfate free, and it's paraben free. And when you read the back of one of the native containers, they're 
everyday simple ingredients. Shea butter, coconut oil, stuff that you can pronounce and that you actually understand. One of the things I love about it, I love the smell. This body wash is cucumber and mint. So you're showering away, it's amazing, the smell is fantastic, but an hour and two hours later, you don't reek like you've been inside of a, a cosmetic store and broken every bottle in there. You get a little hint of it, but your friends, your neighbors, they're not offended by it. And if they got close enough, they'd be like, oh my God, what is that? I love that smell. Look, I'm a weirdo when it comes to deodorants. And for the longest time, I will admit to using a woman's deodorant. And why, you might ask? I'll tell you, because I found all the other ones too greasy, too sticky. It didn't like the smell, nothing greasy, sticky. You put this stuff on and in two seconds, you're like, you walk around, you're feeling fine. Put your shirt on, no wet stains, nothing gross. And these, you got a great choice here. Cucumber, mint, charcoal, and unscented. I'm mostly an unscented guy, but when it comes to charcoal, is there charcoal toothpaste? Okay, hold on, check this out, ready? Freaked out by that? Oh, don't be. This is the best, the best. You'd be so happy using this every morning. Okay, so here's what you do. Three deodorants are normally $36, but if you use my link and my code, STCG, you'll get them for 33% off or $24 for all three. And if you use my code, you'll also get 20% off any toothpaste or body wash that you purchase. Okay, link is below, go ahead, do it. Start changing what goes on you. It's very important. Out of the same head of garlic, I have three cloves. I have this guy, I have this guy, and I have this guy. So when you talk about garlic, I mean, you should specify. I generally say three large cloves, two large cloves, because if I said three of these, I, I mean, you're not gonna get any garlic. I want three big cloves in here, so I'm gonna replace these little guys with a couple big ones. Now we're talking, right? Right. And we mince. By the way, these Eyeless Garlic Press, best garlic press ever made. You know I'm a huge fan of it. You know I've been collecting. You know we're gonna number them, emboss them, or engrave them, and give them away. We can't quite seem to get the Xylus people on board. And by the way, I'm not asking for anything special. Just a handful of their other stuff. And I don't know how in 2021, a company that has consumer products is not on top of their shit. And these guys do not want to respond to us. Maybe they just don't like us. Me, maybe they don't like me. Look, I'm happy accepting that as the answer, but do this. Just fucking email or text back and say, thanks, we don't like you. <laughs> Go talk to somebody else. Why they gotta drag this shit out and it's why they just gotta straight ignore. So if anybody knows anybody that works there, can you get them on our side? Because we wanna have fun with them. Okay, last thing I'm gonna add and everybody's gonna think I'm a weirdo for this is a tiny bit of soy paste. And look, you know I'm a fan of using soy paste, about a tablespoon, because it adds that umami layer of flavor. And in this case, soy paste is better because it's gonna incorporate in this. If I'm trying to stir liquid into this, it's gonna be a hassle. So now we mix. Mix really well. Oh, is this gonna be good. Okay. This gorgeousness is ready. Let's prep our lemons to go into our Salmon Cooking Guy 12 inch cast iron pan of gorgeousness. Look at the bottom. Never thought the bottom of anything of mine would be that attractive. Oh, and that's a first edition. It's a, he whispers. All right, so we're gonna make a little bed of lemons for the chicken to sit on. And that will look like this. Actually, I might as well use this one that we've already uh, jacked up. So we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna cut, I don't need these guys. We're just gonna cut some slices fairly thick like this. And they're just gonna go in here. Seeds and all? Seeds and all, don't give a shit. Don't give a care. Who used to say that? <laughs> one of my brothers. One of your brothers, I don't give a care. And one more. That one seed is just gonna bother me so much. Just look at that, anal Andy all of Fuck a sudden. Fuck seed. <laughs> seed for seeds. Right, good? So, a little squeeze, we're good. Beautiful, it's just a bed, it's a bed of lemons that in the oven they're gonna perfume everything from the bottom up, and that's fantastic. The other thing we're gonna add to this is just a little vermouth, you know I'm a fan of it. If you don't have vermouth and you wanna use white wine, that's great. And it's gonna steam away and help make everything better. Okay, 
Here's the plan. The butter's done, the pan is done. Let's prep our chicken and then we're almost there. And here's our kid. I think you would recognize this as a whole chicken. These are the breasts, these are the legs, little wings. We don't care about this side right now. The side we care about is where the backbone is and we wanna remove that. So I know to some people this is, this is an issue, but to us, this is what we do. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here. Mm, could you come over here? Uh, yeah. Do you want to come over here? Cause this is where the work is. So what we wanna do is we wanna take this out. This, the backbone, <whistles> all the way through. So with a decent pair of kitchen shears, and these are okay, they're not amazing. We're just gonna cut all the way up and just be okay with the sound. By the way, if I did this at home, my wife would leave me. See what we're doing here? Like it's not the most attractive thing on the planet, but by the way, you could absolutely have your butcher do this for you. I think you can even now start to buy them already done. It's becoming a popular way. You've seen us, if you've been around long enough, grill a spatchcock chicken. The reason for doing this is it cooks not just faster, but also much more evenly. It lets the legs and the breasts cook at the same time and come out at the same time ready. So this, you could throw this away, or if you're smart, you'll throw it in a bag in the freezer and then use this for stock one day, but we're not going to. So now that your chicken is like this, now we wanna open them up and spread them this way a little bit and then turn the guy over. And you see how there's still this, this bulge to them. We wanna get rid of that. And the easiest way to do it is just open them up and like you're opening a book and take your hands right here. Like you're giving, what is it? CPR? Uh, no, not CPR. What's that thing? Uh, yeah, get well, yeah, but without the mouth to mouth. This is just the, when you're, hear that? When you're pushing on someone's chest. Chance just took his camera and walked away. <laughs> He got a heat warning. Again, why does your camera the only one that gets the heat warning constantly? Oh, everybody loves Chance Nation. Okay, so here's what we've got, right? Chicken flat. What's this little knob of grossness here that I do not like? Oh, it was, you know what this was? It was actually like the little tail piece that we don't need. Okay, right? So nice, yet what's happening here? These will tuck down. Look, here's the deal. Now it's flat. It's gonna cook perfectly. But before we put it in, we wanna dry it with paper towels, inside and out. Well, season with kosher salt and pepper nicely. And then we take our butter paste or whatever we're calling it. What are we calling this, Max? Okay, but before we start to put the butter paste on our chicken, I'm gonna pull a little out to use after and I don't wanna pollute it with all this chicken grossness. And now on we go. Beautiful. Oh, I love this. Oh, see, I know what this is going to do to it. And I'm, I'm already excited. It's like, you know, when you see a movie with a friend, you've already seen it and they haven't, and you know how good the movie is. That's what this is. I know how good this chicken movie is going to be. And they'll still throw some on the, these legs here. This part. This summer, a chicken movie you will <laughs> not want to miss. The wingies, come on guys, come on everybody. Okay. And now what we're gonna do, so we don't disturb this too much, I'll pick this up. I'll bring our pan here with our lemons and our vermouth. I'll take our chicken and I'm gonna lay them down and in we go. And that ladies and gentlemen is why a 12 inch cast iron pan is the one to have because you can do big ass stuff like this. But now I just wanna dry this skin. Dry skin will give crispier skin. Wet skin will not. I'm sorry I made a mess with my butter. Let's season this guy on the top. And we paste. You know this is gonna do when it gets into the oven. Like only the best thing ever, right? Under the armpits. There are armpits, right? If these are wings, would that not be like an armpit down there? In here, here. Don't tell James Charles that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right, I think we're good. Look, partway through, we might take some of this extra and just go bang it on top, but I think we're good. Okay, let me just take the wings, these little wing tips. I'm gonna try and tuck them under. You know, when these things cook sometimes, they just get all out of control and they fly up. Oh, come on, you little piece of wing. <sighs> 
it's not, you're not helping, you're not working with me, so I have to do this. Sorry. It's like I'm at the chiropractor. Beautiful? Okay, give me a second to wash my hands because I can't pick up this pan yet, and we'll take them away. And we're good. Time for this kid to go in the oven, 450. We want the breast to be 165-ish, and the, uh, the, uh, the thighs to be 175, and we're there. I'll put this in, I come back, then we make a cool potato thing. So I had this idea about making mashed potatoes to go with the chicken because it's a dream combination. And I thought, we've done mashed potatoes, and they're very good. You can put all kinds of different things in them to zhuzh them up a bit, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Goat cheese is an amazing ad. My friend Mickey puts ricotta cheese in hers. We now call them Mickey's potatoes. They're so good. But then I thought, all right, let's make something crispy to go along with this. So this is leftover mashed potatoes. Fine, I cannot tell a lie. An hour ago, they were two packages of powdered, dehydrated mashed potatoes. Fine, I've said it. Why didn't you just use a bag of potato chips? Have you seen the TikTok where we made mashed potatoes out of potato chips? You might want to go it have a look. It was a YouTube video also. It was a YouTube video also. I've shot so many things, I'm so old I forget everything. But here's the point. Start with leftover some kind of mashed potatoes. These happen to have, I don't know, some chive in them or something. I made them, they're now cold because that's where we want them. So we're gonna add to this, then turn them into little balls, and then it's all gonna be obvious from there. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add uh, a little garlic powder to these, a little salt and pepper, because I know they're pretty bland and uh, some more parsley because I'm gonna want these to look cool. The hell. And we'll mix. And remember I said these are cold, okay? Cold mashed potatoes. And when they're mixed well, we're gonna turn them into taut-ish looking things. So we put them there, we get a pan with parchment, and we begin. We'll grab up a little bit, and they'll get shaped in a bit. But just to start, I'm gonna make them about this big and put them on the pan. Try and make them close to the same size. And if you miss, it's okay. That guy's a little big, but that's okay, isn't it? Fine, no one's talking to me. Now I'm on my own here. It's like they've left. Isn't your thing always that they have to be the same size so they cook the same time? Yeah, but, the, 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 but the, here, in this case, the, 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 the. but listen, in this case, the shit's already cooked. It's not like a big ass piece of chicken versus a little ass piece of chicken. This is all just crisping the outside and that will happen at the same time. Is that your favorite piece of the chicken, the ass piece? <laughs> you know what, you're, you're not respect. And if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be in this world. <laughs> Father's Day is coming up and I want something really good. Oh wow, you're right, we gotta do something. Yes you do. You know, I could use like a tablespoon or something to get these all the same size, but why would I do that? Why would I make my life easy? I probably wouldn't. Okay, I'm not gonna do everyone here, but just let me get this pan filled up at least part of the way. God, that was a big one. Okay, and the last one, I clean my hands and then we go to step two. Next up, our crumbing station. So, eggs, no shell. Egg, oh, lots of shell. Damn it, final one, no shell. One out of three is not bad. We mix. Oh God, too aggressive. And now we're gonna use our cornflake crumbs. Not sponsored, but the perfect thing for today. We used them in the Burger King video, it was epic. Epic, okay, so here's what we do. We take these guys, how's that? Perfect. You got everything in sight? Yep. I made your life easy for you. So here's what we do. We're gonna go into the, the egg. Oh, actually I can do this. Get everybody covered. And then into the crumbs. And I'm gonna go back in for one more. We're gonna double dip them. Double dipper. I'm a double dipper. And back we go. Okay, once you've got them all beautifully crumbed up for their second dip, we're gonna put them back on the sheet. But here's if you wanna shape them and you wanna go like little cubes, this is your time. You know what they look like? Toasted coconut marshmallows. 
Okay, our last guy is here. Look, round would have been easier, but look how cool the square is. All right, these guys, fridge for half an hour, then we fry. Who's ready? Ready. I'm ready. Because here we are. Wow. Wow, wow. Do you want to do the slow Vanna White? It's so beautiful, yes. Too bad we don't have some carousel that turns all by itself. That is freaking gorge. Super gorgeous. Marona me. Let it rest for 10 minutes. Because if we cut it now, it's going to be a juice fest. What you're going to like now, it's going to be a juice fest. Juice fest. Juice fest. Juice fest. It's going to be a juice fest. Juice fest. Juice fest. Juice fest. Juice fest. It's going to be a, going to be a, going to be a, going to be a juice fest. Bitch. Juice fest. Bitch. Now it's time for juice fest. But the pieces that go in the fridge that you eat tomorrow are going to be dry as toast. So, a couple things. We cut open a lemon. We try and get rid of as many seeds as we can, and we know that never works well. So we'll try and do it like this, upside down. We're gonna give our buddy here another little bath. Oh, just to amp up what we already know is gonna be insanely delicious. And then, remember this butter? Remember the butter we held back? The, the butter paste thing? Let's give him some of this now. Oh, because why wouldn't we? Because. You've got all this flavor right here. This is the time to put it on. The legs, the thighs, the breasts, all the way. Let this just melt again. Like this, like this, like this. A little more, a little more, a little more. Beautiful. Now, we take a piece of foil. We cover this guy up. We let this rest for 10 minutes. Well, we do, it's potato time. And here are the potatoes. Out of the fridge, been a half an hour. Look at them, they're gorgeous. Let's fry them. So I'm just gonna take them and gently place them in the basket on the rack. And down they go. We're gonna need about, uh, I don't know, three minutes, four minutes. Look, the potatoes cooked inside, so we're really just getting them brown and crispy. That's it. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. Oh, come on, man. Look at these guys. These are gonna look good, huh? Hey, look, our kids are ready. They're gorgeous. Just let them drip a bit. And once they have, we'll gently take them out, put them on a paper towel to drip, dry off. These are like giant, gorgeous, crispy tots, huh? Put the rest in and away we go. When we come back, we're on, we're, we're with our chicken. All right, so these are gonna finish, and we come back, we'll be with our chicken. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> All right, so these are gonna finish, and we come back, we're cutting the chicken, we're eating the chicken. We're going crazy for the chicken. Not in the biblical sense. <laughs> Oop, they started busting a bit. Busting? Busting, busting, busting. Okay, just admire for a second, because honestly, it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen, and by the way, it was simple. You saw what I did. There's nothing special. But before we get there, how about some of these guys? Look at these kids. Holy ass. We'll just scatter these boys around. Chance and I have already tried them. Chancey? They're bussin'. <laughs> they are so bussin', it's unbelievable. And what's amazing about them, I mean, you're thinking taut when you see this. Certainly the crispiness is like that. But when you bust them open inside, and yeah, I said bust them. They're so creamy, they're so unlike a tot. The contrast between the crisp and the creamy center is amazing. These things are a keeper. And you don't have to do them square because they were a pain in the ass, but round, they'd be fantastic. Okay, but we're really all about this chicken. And here's something that you might think about doing before you serve it. Push this kid. Just get some of this glorious, buttery liquid that has come off this guy. Don't forget. The base of this, lemon, and the vermouth that we poured in. So you're getting all of that gorgeousness, perfuming everything. And then of course the butter that went on top and all the herbs, and this thing is gonna be mental. So let's get ourselves a little bite. I was just given instructions by Max not to get in here and rip cartilage and bone and eat like a Neanderthal. So I'm gonna go right here and just get a beautiful piece of chicken breast. Ready for that? Dude, oh. oh my God, what shit. I didn't mean to do that. It's too juicy, it's slick. Oh my God, look at that. Damn. Look, look at right here. Oh, that bite. You want some skin because that's where the action is. 
You want that gorgeous, perfectly cooked chicken. Spatchcock, baby spatchcock. What? I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. You ever sit around and play a game, what would your final meal be? That. Now wait, then you get one of these guys. Let's make it even better. You just get a little bit of this. 